Hey all, Tom Moran here from Tom's Big Spiders. This episode we're going to be rehousing and talking about the care of a rather unique species, one you don't see around all that often. I'm talking about the Theraphosinae species Roatan, or the Roatan Island Purple Bird Eater, I believe is the name. This is a medium species from Roatan Island in Honduras. I found that mine like a little bit of moisture, and I found that mine's been a super fast grower. In fact, I was actually shocked to find out I only picked this one up about a year and a half ago. Another perk of this species is it's developing a reputation for being rather calm as an adult, which is awesome. And I've been excited to grow this one up because this is one of these spiders that when I picked it up, I didn't know all that much about them. I believe it was from a sack of some of the first slings produced in the United States, which I was pretty excited about. But as it's grown, not only have I been dazzled by its growth rate, but it's been a voracious eater and just kind of a cool spider overall. So enough of me talking. Let's take a look at Theraphos and I species Roatan or the Roatan Island Purple Bird Eater. All right, so we're about to rehouse my Theraphosinae species Roatan, or the Roatan Island Purple Bird Eater or something. I believe these guys get to be about five or six inches. We picked this one up as a sling, about a half inch sling in January of 2021. And she is huge. I actually had to double check with Billy when we got her because I thought that was too current for the size she's at now. I haven't seen her completely stretched out, but after her last molt, I think she's pushing about three inches. So this is definitely a fast growing species. Now, as far as why they get the term purple, I'm, I've looked up some photos of them. It looks like the carapace under the right light has a purple sheen to it. So that's always nice. I always love purple spiders. But but I don't want folks to expect that they're going to get something in line of, say, a Formictibus species Dominican purple. It's more of a subtle hue on the carapace. So what I originally had her in as a sling was a dram vial. I did keep this one moist. And then what we have her in here is a 20 ounce deli cup. I actually did not rehouse her all that long ago, probably about six months ago or so. And she was burrowing the entire time. This is a species that seems to like to do a little burrowing early on. But as you can see, I went to go feed her the other day and she has no room to burrow anymore and her burrow has pretty much collapsed so she's out in the open. So I want to get her into something that will give her some room to burrow. So we're going to get her into this one here, which is the M design, what a closet toe. It's basically made for high heels or something. It's 12 and three quarters inches by seven and a quarter inches by seven inches. I love these things for juveniles and smaller adult tarantulas. And then on the inside we have our, the subsidy is actually a mix left over from what I have where I mix basically peat, cocoa fiber, a little bit of vermiculite, and then we have the old leaf litter, because again, I just like the way it looks, some green sphagnum moss, and a cork bark hide with a little starter burrow underneath. So if she, I keep saying she, I don't know the sex of this one yet, but we're hoping she, if she wants to do some burrowing, she can go on under there, because I do feel badly for her that it looks like she probably wants to burrow, but doesn't have the room to do so. So let's get her from point A to point B, and then we'll talk about a little bit more about her care. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Easy girl. I don't know if you can get, oh, this is a big one. I'm gonna get some shots of what she looks like there. But that carapace, when it gets older, has some purple tones to it. Right now, she almost looks like a, like an Afana Pelma or Grandma Stola species. Gorgeous little spider. And again, I keep saying she, we, we shall see. So what I'm going to try to do is carefully turn this over. No, no, there we go. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll leave her there a second. You get some shots of her. What a little cutie. I love the ones like... They kind of remind me of like, almost, and maybe even almost a bracket pelmet if she, oh, there she goes. All right. So I will let you get some shots of her in there. Oh, she is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the uh, lighter colored bands on the legs. So this one's been a great eater from day one. It was a teeny tiny sling and I was feeding her red runner nymphs and I was feeding, usually my slings I feed twice a week or so. I'm tr I try to get the slings out of that delicate sling stage as quickly as possible. Once she started putting on some size, I went to one meal a week. 
At that point, I was feeding medium roaches or medium crickets. Now she easily takes down. I dropped in a large cricket the other day and she was all over it. So growth rate, again, amazing. Like I'm shocked at how young this thing is because I honestly expected her to be a lot older. I know we had gotten a shipment back in 2019. I thought that that's where we got her, but no, it was just last year. So she is really putting on some serious size. Temperatures, temperature in the tarantula room here during the summertime, it's been getting quite warm, usually in the mid 80s to upper 80s, sometimes even 90 degrees, but usually I kick on AC. I like to keep it in the mid 80s in the summertime. I don't want it to get too hot because I've noticed some of my tarantulas seem to not appreciate the super hot weather. In the winter, it's right around 73 or 74 degrees with occasional dips down to the 60s. So she's grown regardless. I think when we got her, obviously it was winter time. We were here and that's when we were experiencing some of those dips in temperatures and she still ate and grew quite well. Now that she's put on some size, I usually feed my larger specimens. I've been going to a every other week schedule or so. I don't feed them quite as often. Remember, tarantulas in the wild don't eat as often as we like to feed them. If you do feed them, it's not going to hurt or feed them a lot. It's not going to hurt them, but you may have a situation where the spider spends an awfully long time in primo. So this will be a good enclosure for her for a little while, but if she does get to five or even six inches, which I've heard these guys can get to, then I expect she will outgrow this one in a little while. We'll see if the growth rate slows down. Sometimes species hit that young adult size and then the growth slows down. I'll definitely keep track of that. But anybody finding these guys out, I would encourage you to pick them up. They're beautiful spiders, kind of not something that you see offered all that often and fast growing. You can't go wrong, fast growing and hardy. So there we go, Theraphosanized species, Roatan, Roatan Island Purple, awesome little spider, glad I could finally show her. I shouldn't say finally show her off because it, it's really early on, she's just putting on massive size, but I'm glad I could show people how beautiful this spider can be, so hopefully if somebody's offering them again soon, some people will jump on it. So unfortunately, these guys aren't particularly easy to find, and I haven't seen many offered lately, but hopefully they come back up for sale. Hopefully the price isn't that high, because if you put together the fact that they are extremely fast growing, very hardy, and rather docile as adults, you have all the makings for a good beginner species tarantula. In fact, they do kind of have a look to them with some of the Gramostola brachypelma species. I believe once they get a little bit older, that carapace develops a purple sheen, hence the word purple in the common name, but don't expect a completely purple spider. That said, I've seen photos of the adults, and they're stunning. So that will do it for this one. As always, if you liked it enough to subscribe, very much appreciate. Click the little circle up in there. I'm going to put a video from Robbie's Talking Tees down here that shows off his uh, sub-adult or adult female. And then up here, I'll probably put best for viewer. As always, if you take the time to comment, no, I'll take the time to respond. Just know it can take me a couple days because I tend to get a lot of comments. That'll do it for this one, guys. Stay safe. We'll catch you all next time.